So, as you can probably see, it's just me for this morning. I was supposed to be picking Dan up earlier at about 11, 11.30. And at about 11.25, as in five minutes before I was about to pick him up, he told me that he actually needed to go and buy some shoes. So, um, I'm now on my own, gonna probably start getting the gearbox cleaned up. I'm not sure how much filming I'm gonna be able to do until he gets here. I guess we'll catch up when he arrives and he starts doing some filming. We've got the gearbox out, so I'm just about to start getting it sort of ground back. As you can see, there's quite a lot of uh, oxidization on here. So I started um, wire wheeling it back before and it's gone a bit shitty since then. So hopefully this time what we'll be able to do is get it taken back completely the entire way around then spray some sort of primer on it or or paint it directly so then hopefully it won't go back to looking like this so i'll get started with that and uh see how i get on so yeah um bought some new shoes they're awesome love them love a good pair of shoes obviously they're brown everyone loves brown shoes anyway back to it rob's been um pissing about with the gearbox it looks pretty good it looks quite nice and smooth and clean how are you getting on love it <laughs> I've also got, I don't know if it's swine flu or bird flu, but I'm, um, I'm seriously, seriously ill at the moment. I can't poo. I've tried three times today. It's just not happening. I'm aching as well. Not good. I'm going to get started on the blocks. We're going to uh, get all of this back off. Got all the intake manifold, alternator, all this relocator assembly and the crank pulley and all that get all of them back off it's pretty good to be honest this i know it's got a bit of dirt in in these cracks here but it just you cannot get it out the wire wall seems to smooth it off quite nicely even though it doesn't get it all off it becomes quite smooth so i think once we get to that point and we spray it with a bit of extra primer as well so it build it up a little bit it should look pretty good i don't think you'll know it's sort of behind that point and to be honest you're never going to see it anyway i mean the gearbox you're going to see is going to have it's going to be a bit more visible in the engine bay the, i don't think you'll see any of the, the block to be honest should be good yeah the priority today is to get these cleaned up and painted oh yeah at least primed yeah i think that's about it to be honest Let's see how we get on i think it's nearly our point where i can put some primer on it probably spend all day doing it if i wanted to but I'm happy with how it looks at the moment. I'm so bored and my fingers are hurting. I'm more than happy with it. It actually looks quite good, I think. There are some bits in there you just literally cannot get to with your fingers. There's a gearbox. I reckon Sam was probably responsible for uh, the labelling of this paint. The silver <laughs> is rated to 800 degrees. Good job, Sam. I've got um, the gearbox primered. Looks pretty good. I'm just going to put some silver on it now. It looks pretty smart. Yeah, time for some silver. On the block, we've just Honda bonded the water pump housing back onto the block. So when we spray it, we just spray it as one. So it looks pretty good. Gearbox is all painted, just put the final coat on, it's just drying. All silver. Silver. Engine is in for some similar treatment tomorrow. And we can bolt them back together, bolt all the bits and pieces on, so you can see the difference between bare metal, painted silver. Get down here tomorrow and uh, crack on with the block. We're back at the farm, it's Sunday. We've got a mate's charity boxing match this afternoon, so we're only gonna be here for like an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. An hour? An hour. Yeah, we're just gonna get the um, the block primed, hopefully, and then uh, we can start putting stuff back together. I think I've got swine flu. We've um, given the block its first coat of primer, cleaned it all up, degreased it, taped up all the holes that we need to use. And we've got a new water pump. We haven't just sprayed the, uh, the water pump we're going to use. Rob's just about to put the second coat on. Bank holiday Monday. We got really, really drunk last night. Yesterday afternoon, I was in bed and being sick by eight o'clock. That's really embarrassing. We both feel like shit. Dan's just bought 
hangover cures. And now we're off to the workshop to put some paint on the block and start getting shit back together. Finally. No, Monica. The roof must have fallen down last night when we weren't here. In Hurricane Katie or whatever it was. Balancing on our dashboard up there. Everything's now covered in crap. Luckily the paint on the gearbox is already dry. I think it might be a lot. What? <laughs> 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 He's got a mouthful of jammy dodgers. <laughs> that was lucky that we left that paint drying over there. Mmm. Silver. So we've given the engine now three coats of silver. This um, stuff is really quick drying as well, to be honest. It comes out like, um, it doesn't even seem to come out of the can very wet. So hopefully, by the end of the day today, we can start getting that back, getting all the tape off it and start getting some stuff back on it. The gearbox looks really good. Started getting everything back on that. Rob's just greasing his shaft. I think that's nearly done then. So yeah, we just need to wait for a couple of drive shaft seals to turn up. Once this is dry, we can get in the main oil seal and the front and rear oil seals. That is. Uh, we've got new ones of those. And then yeah, we can start putting the other stuff back together with new gaskets and whatever else. Get the sump off and get the new one on. Yeah, we'll have to get the rocker cover off and start refurbing that as well. Gearbox is now completely back together. Um, we've got a couple of new bits and pieces that we're going to replace on here, but for the moment it looks pretty good, pretty happy with it. Uh, we're going to replace one of these because I think they're only sort of 40, 50 quid, something like that, so we might as well while it's off. Yeah, we've got a little, I've, I've put the hook back on so we can lift it back into the car, but uh, once it's in the car I'll take that off. Um, shifter assembly looks pretty good all both mounts back on now and uh yeah clutch release bearings in forks in ready to be bolted back up to the uh, engine now and dan's just sorting out or taking the old sump off so we can put our new uh k-tuned k24 sump on so that'll look good dependent on whether this is dry or not we can start putting the other bits and pieces back on it We've just spent the last 20 minutes trying to smash the sump off, wondering why it's not moving. What have you found? I found the last bolt. <laughs> <laughs> so now, where's the dryer? Should come off. As if by magic. There you go, sump's off. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 bolts, just in case you're wondering. We forgot about was this one, presumably. Yeah, you've got two locating pins on there as well, so we just gave it a tap with a mallet, pried it off here, and here, off it comes. So we've uh, got the new sump on. Wasn't too bad actually. Uh, we don't know if it's going to seal or not though. We don't really know if we've used enough on the bump, but hopefully it'll be all right. Engine looks really good. I think we're just going to try and put on some of them, some of the accessories now. So getting the new water pump on and all the alternator and you know all that sort of stuff. I suppose we can put the sandwich plate and the, the new oil filter on. Just get everything on really now, as much as we've got and as much as we can. New water hoses on there, uh, K-tuned ones. We've got the water, new water pump, the alternator relocation kits back on, engine mounts back on, new thermostat, that water outlet thingamabobby with the new water temperature sensor for the ECU. I think it's probably quite dark down here, so I don't know if you can see all this anyway. The half shaft bolt is back on, the oil sandwich plate or whatever you call it, and the oil filter. Uh, and a VTEC solenoid uh, and obviously the sump. Despite being majorly hung over when we got it this morning, we, well, this afternoon, we've actually managed to get quite a bit done. The engine is pretty much back together. Crank pulley's not on because it's uh, got paint on it at the moment. Alternator hasn't been painted purely because we don't know if it works or not. Yeah, everything else is back on, so all the pipes under there. Throttle body's loose for the minute. Half shaft's back on all these cooler lines, everything like that. And then the gearbox is the same. All the bits and bobs are back on there. Both look pretty good. So once the car gets back from the body shop next weekend, we'll be able to drop this straight back in and hopefully not damage our new uh, <laughs> engine bay. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Pretty happy with um, everything going back together pretty smoothly, so top job. Dan's still ill. Rob's been sending down subframe ready for second cut paint. So yeah, things are coming on. Chop down the inner tie rods. 
you have to buy them from Honda and they're about 110 quid a pair or you can buy ones which are slightly too long and um, just chop them down a bit so we've done that yeah the alternator 